All right, Ben. Yeah. Two days of losses. Tell me something good. Things are going back up. All trend, right. Trend reversal. Right now we're just getting script ready. So what what I did is uh, we decided to go back to what made us the best in crypto, which is going back to the cycles, looking at prediction models, trying to help people understand where price should be at certain times. And so looking back at my prediction model I made back in December about where Bitcoin needed to go to hit 225K by September 28th. Uh, and then later on, I would have to create a, a new prediction because the numbers looked like they were much higher. So today we're going to be looking at on our 6 p.m. video where we stand with those models and if we're still on track for a six-figure Bitcoin or maybe much higher. So that's mm. what we're looking at today. It's always interesting to go back and look at kind of the models that we made before and then how they're doing now and if they still apply to the future. So pretty interesting stuff. You know what, Ben? What? That shirt looks great on you. Thanks. My wife picked it out. She really likes this. J. Crew. Yeah, he had some good technical stuff, but you're right. Uh, but you're, to be fair, a lot of people struggle to sell themselves, especially in an interview. People are nervous a lot of times. Who are we hiring? We're looking to get another social media coordinator to help uh, balance and, you know, kind of coordinate all the different social media across all the different channels and do a lot of the back end for Facebook and stuff like that. I'll get ready for all the comments when this, when this bit <laughs> yeah, goes Yeah, hey, out. so we got the first daily. Did you watch the, did you watch the first daily hit? She was a hit, man. She was a hit. So she was a hit. Everyone was just like, why is it? Haley seems so cool. Why is she hiding her face? Yeah, everybody loved you in the comments. You were a hit in the first one. Meads. That's good, homie. <laughs> and so any, early. anything today or not too early? I've got, hold on. Uh, let me let me show you this. All right, I'm going to send you a text. Got a new way we're doing things around here. Uh, get them to go ahead and put that stuff up on the screen or whatever. This. <laughs> hold on, you look tired, bro. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. I haven't drank any coffee or anything yet. One thing I like to do on TikTok is duet things that I said three, four months ago that are coming true now. Like I was talking about mm. NFTs on TikTok before anybody else was on there talking about NFTs. Uh, now, you know, Gary Vee, Logan Paul, all these guys love talking NFTs. Well, once those people start talking about it, you miss the best opportunity. We were talking about it back in October when pretty much only crypto nerds cared about it. And the mainstream... You know, it, kind of a comment that I made was I need to stop, stop trolling and start listening because we got a lot of stuff here. Uh, you know, we we start talking about big things that are coming, they generally come. We're trying to make you folks some money here. Exactly. What? Are you serious? Yeah. So I've been watching BitBoy Crypto since 48K. So wow. that's the reason I'm reaching out. I produce. I'm producing a new TV series with Tony Hawk called The Thrown Down Tour. Will consist of nine one-hour TV shows, and they're interested in having you come on. Oh, That'd be cool. That would be pretty. Talk about cool. a blast from the past. Now, I do want to say this. Okay. Just the other day, I was thinking, how many people have the opportunity to say that they're the greatest at something, like and really mean it? Right now, we're the greatest crypto YouTubers. I mean, we are number one right now. Previous to this last few weeks, the one thing in my life I would have said I was the absolute greatest at, and no one could touch me, Tony Hawk Pro Skater Two. <laughs> I was so good. Okay, I have the greatest idea. Okay, you got Tony Hawk Pro Skater, right? What if we had Ben Armstrong's crypto YouTuber video game? Where the whole <laughs> point is you trying to become the biggest crypto YouTuber. And at the end, you got the final boss, you gotta go against me, you'll lose. No? TJ's just giving me that look. I hate when he does that. That ain't it. Man, I thought he had an actual good idea. I thought it. I thought he did too. <laughs> that that he just did was a performance for the camera. Was it? He wanted it to be where he didn't laugh at what I was saying on purpose because he loves to do that. Mm. He thinks it's a way to keep me humble. So all this is is sixty chess all the time going on. There's, There's a lot going on. People here. wonder why I choose the art that I do. Yeah. This is a message to TJ at all times. It's time for me to predict where I thought Bitcoin would go and win. In this video. I gave the timeline base on Bitcoin hitting 225K. Uh, go, go back down a little bit. I think I messed that up. Okay, right here. Oh, there we go. Now we've turned $10,000 into 25K in two days. The goal is to try to turn 10K into 100K. I say we're pretty good. We're on the way. We'll probably do it in a week. That's weird. It won't let you go live with your front facing camera. Yeah, let's go. Stop talking to the mic. Hello and uh, welcome to the mic check. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the largest crypto channel in all the interwebs. Companies that it purchased approximately 
3,318 Bitcoins, expanding on its October 2020 buy of 4,709. Yeah, we'll look into that more. Yeah, we got the BitBoy Deck Builder game coming out on all backs. Don't forget about that, guys. Don't forget about that. Oh, I got it. Be blessed. Good job. How were the numbers today? I mean, they were good. We just never peaked. We never broke 20K concurrent. We broke 24 the other day, weren't we? Right, that's oh, why wow. I was pissed, is we had 24 and we dropped down to 20. Today, even though we never got that high, we grew the whole time. Got, think Tidal. See, they just don't like that. For some reason, like, when you talk about, like, $1 billion Bitcoin buy or whatever it is, like, that kind of language for whatever reason doesn't get people excited. And I kind of was thinking, like when you came up with that title, I was thinking, you know, I was like, oh, I don't know. We went with it, and it may just be the day. But for some reason, that kind of angle doesn't seem to hit with the people. Mm -hmm. My theory well, is that people are getting immune to those kinds of, like, words and titles and stuff. No. I don't think so? No. Huh. It works out. When you, If we would have said Bitcoin to 100K by the end of the day... Well, yeah. You know? The clickbait and the title thing is really interesting because we hate coming up with the titles. It's painful. Our thumbnails are really good. Like our thumbnails are very well designed and they're great and they usually do indicate what's happening on the video. But coming up with the titles is definitely something that's uh, pretty tough. Grab a bite of oh. the image restaurant here in Agra Barbecue. Do you say Kelly Kellum sent you and ask for my cousin Greg? I love barbecue. That I love fun. barbecue. I love barbecue. -dee. Let's go. Right now? I'm in for lunch. Yeah, let's go. All right. Go do it. All right. Well, one of you guys has to tell the camera now so that that super chat isn't left hanging. Yeah, we are going to go eat at that barbecue place. We like barbecue. Barbecue is a good place around here. We just don't have enough. Right time. now, I'm eating a meat taco with mayo. That is the lunch of champions right yeah, there. Yeah, that's that's not a taco shell. It's a piece of turkey. Hold on. This is your first appearance on the hit on the daily hit. You are Lorenzo, aka Baker the Legend. And <laughs> He wants to know how many pull-ups I can do. So I'm about to show him. All right. Hello. Come on. Ah! <laughs> Two. Stop or keep going? No, no, keep going. Six. Seven. Ben, don't look like that. Support me. <laughs> keep going. Lorenzo! Why are you doing this, Lorenzo? <laughs> Twelve. Okay. I'll stop. Okay, but watch this. But well, watch this. Watch this. I can do. I can do. Ah! Ah, one. One pull-up. That's right. <laughs> it's not the arm strength, it's the size of the belly. Okay. I just, I think I've realized that the whole purpose of this reality show is to make me look terrible. I think that's the whole purpose. You're just easy to meme on, man. I have, I have sweaty armpits. I am overweight. I can barely do pull-ups. I mean, what? But you're going to the gym every day and you're on a good diet. People don't believe that. People think I don't go to the gym. I can confirm this man goes every to day. the gym. Every day. Okay. All right, let's do it. Welcome to Crypto Cake Weekly Update. This week, Michael Saylor has finished buying one billion dollars worth of Bitcoin for MicroStrategy. What was that? Something wrong. Died. Oh. Oh, it's like no. Oh, it needs batteries. Yeah. Well, that's okay because guess what? We got batteries. This one. Is out too. Just about. Oh, well, now it is out. Wow. Well, great <laughs> news. Guess what? It requires eight batteries. Six. I've got. Six each? Six each. He's not done yet. That Still prepared. Too. So Crypto Cake is under you or you just shoot stuff for them or how's that work? No, so Crypto Cake is a, a company, it's actually a publicly traded company, Web Holdings, and their idea is to bring the first 24 seven cryptocurrency news channel. But I actually do a show for them once a week. Uh, it's between two and six minutes, somewhere around there. It's pretty short, just a weekly update. Uh, and you know, hopefully that can help them bridge between you know having some content to where they want to be in the future. So, I like uh, the guys behind it, uh, Stephen Lee. Uh, they're they're good, good guys, and they actually were some of the first people that ever believed in me. I started, I started uh, talking with Crypto Cake when I only had fifteen hundred subscribers. They saw something hmm. in my channel even back then. I want to talk about your growth because, as I understand it, we have half a million right now, and didn't half of those come within like the last month or so? Yeah, we gained 240,000 subscribers in a month. Dang, and uh, how long were you going before you got traction? Yeah, so uh, to uh, right at two years, really, before I got any traction, but 
still about another six months after that. So at the end of 2019, so I started the channel in January 2018. At the end of 2019, two years, I had 12,000 subscribers. Wow. And now in one year and six weeks, passing as of today, 575K. So you guys mm -hmm. can do the math there. It's been parabolic. You know, every month we think we can't outdo the last month, and then we just keep outdoing the last month. So, you know, hard work and not giving up. A lot of people in my shoes would have given up. Then you see all these other YouTubers, especially Altcoin Daily and Crypto Zombie, they started their channels. I like both those both those channels. I know all those the guys that do that. I love them. They're they're good friends of mine. They started their channels about the same time I did. And I was at twelve thousand and they were at fifty, sixty, seventy thousand and all coin Altcoin Daily was like over a hundred thousand and very frustrating, uh, you know, to see that they were doing really well and I couldn't. I just kept stepping my game up, kept stepping my game up, kept stepping my game up, and then we finally found the sauce. And y'all know, I got the sauce. Steve, what up, bro? I didn't know we had BitBoy cards and so that as NFTs. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Show me. Let me show you. Yeah. Dude, are you going to do like audio NFTs or anything? Yeah, so Steven actually just told me that audio NFTs are a thing. So I think I'm going to do like a really cool thing with audio because I rap. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'm a rapper, photographer, graphic designer. Show me these cards. So yeah, we're making all these cards here. We're even doing a whole comic book too. Really? Yeah, it's gonna be based around BitBoy and the Bitverse. It looks like it looks like DC. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> We're trying to make this whole Bitverse uh, uh, universe here with with BitBoy Crypto and super smart. Yeah, really fun stuff. A lot of lot of big things happening. A lot of big things. All right. What we got right here in my hand. We got a check from BBNT Bank. By the way. F y'all BBNT, they're coming after your crypto. So this is, uh, we had to close our accounts because we used Coinbase. And now they've sent us a check for the remaining amount. We have no idea how much this is. It might be a lot of money. Boom, baby! 10 bones, son. $10 <laughs> even. Hello, OVR. It is really me, the bit boy crypto. Uh, this is TJ, is you may not know him. Yeah, it's recording right now, actually. And uh, yeah, we missed the meeting. We're really sorry about that. It really is us. We're just super busy today. Going to Vegas tomorrow as so we're trying to get all the content in today. It's going to be a virtual success. <laughs> but they are talking to our agent and they just wanted to confirm that she really is our agent because that's the thing in crypto where people say like, oh, I can get you a sponsored yeah. video on this channel mm -hmm. and then the companies pay for it and we have no idea who that person is and then they just run off. They're the like, way. hey, where's our video? Well, usually when they say that, I immediately know what has happened, that they've been scammed. I mean, people have probably scammed people out of hundreds of thousands of dollars using my name before. Kind of sucks. Okay. Whenever in the title it says this date, we want to focus on the date, right? On the date? Okay. So, so put like a calendar with like a question mark. 306K, so dollar sign, 306K. Gotcha. Bitcoin on this date. And then point to that date, but have like a question mark. Gotcha. What, is that, is that good for SEO or something? No, it's not SEO, it's good for uh, clip baiting y'all suckers. <laughs> well, the whole thing is, is you know, when you're when you're coming up with, you know, Bitcoin predictions and you're trying to get people to watch the videos, you gotta have some kind of happy, uh, happy medium there of what's gonna be appealing to them. I wanna make sure we get the title just right and we get people to click on it. Cause sure. I, I, I think that's something that a lot of people don't think about. You hear the word clickbait and it's thrown around a lot and it's like, Oh, it's such a negative thing, which of course people have been doing it since the beginning of media. But the thing that people got to understand is the content of this video that I'm putting out tonight is so good that it's going to be such a shame if people don't watch it. We want to do whatever we can to get those eyeballs on that video because the information is so valuable. And the clickbait is just a driver to get you there. It's just what it is, you know? I mean, no. Well, I think the, the definition of clickbait is changing now anyway. Like they say that. If you, whatever it takes for, for someone to click, yeah. click on and they're not disappointed, it's not clickbait, you're fine. And see, that's what people find on my videos. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah. I think most people would say, so, yeah. Tell me about this bad boy. Yeah, it's SRT, that's the old Hellcat right there. You can't really uh, mess with that bad boy. Here's the cool part though, come check this out. This is the uh, embossed Bitcoin logo. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, it's hard to see though. Yeah. All right, man. All right, bro, see ya.
I call that a pretty good end of the episode. 